Daratumumab and isotexumab are both anti-C38 directed monoclonal antibodies and if you look at um, um, their single agent activity, um, their combination data, it appears very similar. Um, and there have been studies done where, you know, um, uh, one antibody um, has been uh, utilized um, uh, to, to test the efficacy after they've had the other. So it's been done, you know, with uh, isotexumab post data as well as data post isotexumab. And um, it doesn't look like I, in either of those situations that you can, you know, um, help um, majority of the patients. In fact, the response rates were very low. Um, so, uh, you know, in my mind, you know, there is no major distinction in terms of activity, um, and I don't think you can use one after the other, um, you know, on on its on on their own. Um, you know, how can you pick one versus the other? I think you know part of uh, the issue is one is subcutaneous, one is IV. The schedule for one is starting at weekly, and then it goes to Q2 week, and then monthly. Whereas uh, for the other isotexumab, it's you know Q2 weeks. Um, um, you know for subsequent cycles, um, you know, after the first one. So, so you know, dosing schedule route will probably, um, you know, uh, help determine, um, you know, the choice, um, you know, and you have to have that discussion with, uh, with the patients.